I'm feeling like a million bucks, man. I, I'm feeling I'm ready. I'm, I'm prepared. You know, this going to be a tough fight. This dude's on a 19-fight win streak. Nobody ever fucking heard of his name. He barely speaks any English. So it's a lot of pressure, and, and I'm ready to, to, to kind of meet that pressure with pressure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you said that. I was going to ask you, hey, help me pronounce this guy's name because I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm struggling, yeah. Kev. <laughs> I, I just learned this week. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, is Hinat Fakhradinov. Um, he's tough. He, he's a little bit like like Kamzat a little bit, the, the guy that everybody's kind of afraid of, super aggressive. He just don't have that braggadocious, and he don't he don't really speak out the, in the same right. ways. But uh, for skill, for skill, he, he's up there. So I, I got my work cut out for me this weekend. Now, this fight is uh, going to be – yeah, I got you, Kev. You hear me? Yep, yep, I got you. Now, Kev, this fight, obviously, and you've fought at Walter Waite in the past, but this one not in the 155-pound division. How about fighting at Walter yep. Waite? You're looking big right now. You're looking strong. How about fighting at yep. 170? Yeah, I, I've been moving around with a lot of 170 guys down in uh, Kill Cliff, my, my new team that I'm at in Florida. Um, it's about 10 UFC fighters that, that are all there. All that Walter weight, you know, you got Kamar Uzman, you got Ian Gary, you got all these these top guys. So moving around with them and getting used to it, it is really put me in the in the right uh, in the right place. I'm I'm 200 pounds walking around, wow. so it, it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be no problem for me to to go out there and and be a full fledged Walter weight. How are you feeling just like mentally, emotionally as you get ready to return to the UFC? I'm sure when you left, you said, hey, I'm, I'm not going to be back there. But now here you are. Yeah. It's about two years. Any nerves yeah. to get back in the octagon? Obviously, you've been in there so many times. You've had such success. But any nerves? Yeah, I, I got 18 fights in the UFC against some of the best in the world, uh, against former world champions, current world champions, all that. And really, it's been three years since people have really seen me um, at, at the right level. So. I'm not nervous. I'm excited to get back in there and, and, and show what I can do again. People really ain't seen me since I fought Charles Oliveira. Um, and, and this is going to be kind of that reawakening for that. Um, I was thinking, you know, like you said, oh, I had to re-sign with the UFC. I was getting other offers from other promotions. I was getting other offers from other industries and stuff like that with, with my brother being this new superstar that he is. Um, offers were coming all, the, all over the board, but at the end of the day, I had to look at myself and, and say, I want to be the best fighter in the world. And the best fighters are in the UFC. Like, I, I love this sport. You know what I mean? I didn't want to turn it to boxing where we all over here, you over there, you over there. Um, the, the best fight the best. And, and that's what I'm going to do no matter what, but no matter what obstacles or what jumps I got to go through. Yeah, that's that's what's always been best about the UFC is is just that 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 the yeah. best do fight the best. When you look at the division and, and specifically the top of the division with Leon, yeah. I mean, how how do you match up against the the absolute best of the best now, Kev? As you come back, yeah, that that Leon fight I like. Um, that that Leon fight is is something that that I could definitely see in the future. He 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 got certain things that he do that present problems. But with my wrestling, with my size, with my with my aggression and, and my head movement, you know, I don't I don't really get hit a lot. Um, so I, I feel like I, I can put up a, a hell of a fight against him. It, it's gonna be that's gonna be a good one. That, that's one that I'm that I'm going to. Uh, but I'm step at a time. This is my reemergence back into the UFC. This is me fighting in front of a whole new set of fans that might not have ever seen me fight. They might not have seen me fight Edson Barboza. They might not have seen me fight Gregor Gillespie. They might not have seen some of these fights that I've already had. So uh, I'm taking it one step at a time. And it's going to start with this dude who, who's a prospect that a lot of people think are going to beat me. So once I turn him back, then I'm on to the next one. Then I'm on to top 10. Then I'm on to top five. And then I'm on to Leon. Are you in some ways feeling disrespected by the fact that some people think he's going to beat you? Because, yeah, he's got a good record, but one UFC fight. And there are levels to this. Yeah. And you have been at the top of, of 155, 170 for years yeah. now. Um, disrespected? I, I don't know. I, I think a lot of people are stupid. I don't think a lot of people have good attention spans, I, I, especially in this sport. You know, and, and sometimes you they just judge you based off of what they've seen. And I've been in the dark for a minute. So, so I, I'm not going to say disrespected because they don't know what they're looking at, you know. But a, after this weekend, they will. Um. I, I don't pay attention to it. I, I just kind of let people, I'm going to let them do what they do, and, and, and I'm going to do what I do. 
and, and we're going to see how, how this all plays out on Sunday morning. Um, we're going to see who was right. And and I know who I am. I know what I can do. If you don't, all right, you just, you, you under a cave somewhere. You don't, you don't know what's going on. So I don't, I don't get mad, especially with as many casual fans as the UFC yeah. is starting to get and starting to pick up. Um, I don't get mad. This fight, this fight in particular is for the hardcores. I ain't done no promotion for it. None of this stuff is for the hardcore people who, who really know the sport and who really are interested in the sport. And, uh, and they're going to see what I got to offer. I can't let you go without asking about Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. Um, yeah. <laughs> these guys are, yeah. from everything we've been told, like this is a real thing that they are actually negotiating and that both guys are down to fight. Uh huh. As a UFC star, what do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you support it? Do you feel like it's disrespectful to MMA? I mean, what, what, where do you fall on, on what would be probably the biggest fight ever? I'm not gonna lie. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I, I don't just like I it. Do I too. love it. I, I love it. Uh, you know, I got I got an offer to go and train with Zuckerberg. Oh, really? And, and he's legit. He's for real. Like he's really yeah. into it. He he's really you know going out there and competing. They say he put a hat on, the hoodie up, and everything, <laughs> walking out so nobody would bother him. Like yeah. he he for real. He a real man for that. So I, I yeah. get I get for one I give my respect to anybody willing to step into that cage. Anybody willing to put their right. life on the line because that's what they're doing, especially when you talk about dudes like this that are that are super geniuses, right? And, and they're willing to put their brain and their life on the line. How could you not respect that? So, um, I really don't want to pick a dog in the fight. Yeah. I, I respect them both, love them both. Uh, if Zuckerberg asks me to train, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna train with him. Hey, I but would then, too. to be honest with you, if Elon asks me the next week, I'm going over there too. I'm in Texas, I'm gonna train with him too. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I just want to see both of them be healthy. Both yeah. of them push themselves. Both both of them uh, uh, step in there and, and get the courage and, and, and show people. I think it'll be a great testament to people.